Have you ever wondered if you can use 3D printing resin to cast parts? Well, I have, and in this video, let's take a look at if this is gonna work or not. I'm gonna use these 3D print stuff and 3D pun coins. I figure that something that's thin is gonna give me the best chance at success. I used a glue stick to stick the coins to the bottom of this recycled piece of plastic that I found. After that, I mixed up some Moldstar 16. It's the fast variant, which means it has a six minute pot life and a 30 minute cure time. You can mix this either one to one by weight or by volume. Here, I decided to weigh it. I just find it a little bit easier when I don't have measuring cups. I'm trying to mix it as best as I can, keeping in mind that six minute pop time and also trying not to introduce too many air bubbles. Once it's mixed thoroughly, I can pour it over the two coins, starting in the one corner and trying to make a very thin stream so that any bubbles that are trapped can pop during the stream and just letting it fill the entire mold. I let the silicone cure for 40 minutes before coming back to demold the coins. I've only ever used silicone a couple times to make molds, but it's always a super satisfying part of the project to demold your parts. You can see the layer lines in the mold from the 3D print, which I think is a pretty cool effect. If that can translate into our cast part, I'll be pretty happy with it. I also had this flashing that got underneath the coin. I didn't do a very good job of removing it, so if anyone has any tips for removing this flashing uh, cleanly, uh, let me know in the comments below. I tried using a knife and I tried using some flush cutters. Maybe some actual scissors would have been better, but let me know your thoughts. While handling 3D printing resin, I like to wear nitrile gloves and wear a respirator with the proper cartridges, just as a safety precaution. I'm using Elegoo white and black resins that you have to shake well before using. I'll open it up here and then transfer it into a needle nose bottle. Now that I have it in a needle nose bottle, I can try casting my first letters. Filled in the D's here, and then I used a UV flashlight to cure the letters. I left it on for about three minutes, just to give it a good amount of time to try and cure all the way through these letters. I've cut to three minutes in the future, and these should be cured all the way through, hopefully. So let's take a look at if these are fully solid. Spreading the mold, you can see that the D is maintaining its shape. So this looks like this is cured all the way through. I'd call it a success on the letters. You got these little, uh, little Ds all ready to go. I re-poured and then cured the D that I removed and then I moved on to the ring on the outside. While those were curing, I filled the letters in on the 3D print stuff coin. And then I began to alternate laying a thin layer of black resin, curing it, and then moving it to the next coin, laying another thin layer of resin, curing that, and then moving back and forth. I think I need to do very thin layers in order to get the UV to penetrate all the way through the resin. If I make the layers a bit too thick, I think I'm not gonna make it all the way through and I'm gonna have liquid resin left in the mold. Here you can see I'm applying a second layer. That first layer was very solid, so I'm pretty confident that it's cured all the way through. Here's hoping that after the second layer, everything is gonna be cured and we'll have a good looking coin. After I was done with the UV flashlight, I stuck the mold with the coin still in it into my curing station just to give myself the best chance of curing this all the way through. I set the timer for five minutes and let it rip. Well, here's the moment of truth. Let's see what we got. And that looks like disappointment. I can still see some liquid resin there. We didn't cure it all the way through. This attempt was a failure. But it was a fun little experiment. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a few more attempts and try and get some better results. 
I'm sure with some tweaking, this method could be viable, but if you want to cast, use casting resin with some pigments, not UV curable resin. <laughs> it's not what it's meant for. Stick to 3D printing with 3D printing resin. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.